Hey ladies, welcome to The Point of View. I am Stephanie View and I just wanted to go over some things today uh, that have been weighing on my chest and I, I speak pretty openly and frequently about self-love and the power of positivity and things like that and so I just wanted to share a little bit of what has helped me maybe overcome a lot of negativity and kind of just stop the trend of, you know, kind of a victim mentality. I find so many times, you know, I am an online fitness coach and so I'm on Facebook and I'm talking to all of these people all of the time and, you know, I'm constantly seeing people just complaining over and over and over and over again. People that have headaches every day, people that, you know, are stuck in traffic and complaining about that and, you know, here's one thing. It's all our mindset. Every single thing that happens in life, we can control how we react to that, okay? It's up to us to either make it a big ordeal and let it ruin our day or to overcome those feelings. Yes, everybody gets irritated. Yes, everybody gets stuck in traffic. But how do you know that there's not a car accident ahead of you where somebody was killed possibly? Like you don't know that. So rather than letting the universe control us, we need to use the universe to spread positivity, right? Here's one thing that's helped me big time. Besides, obviously, the daily time that I take for myself to ensure that I'm fueling my body properly and doing my workouts and, you know, just this week, it's it's February and it's 60 degrees here and so twice this week I went running with the dog and I have done more cycling. I plan to do a couple triathlons this year and you know it's very important to me. Every single day I get up at 5 30 in the morning. I do my meditation. I do my workout. I get a lot of work done before my son gets up so that my mind is right for the rest of the day. I am a full-time stay-at-mom home. I run a full-time business and so it would be very easy for me to be to be that person, to be the person that I used to be, to be constantly, constantly, constantly complaining and irritated and pissed off at everything and it just is not fair. I didn't choose to be a stay-at-home mom so that I could be irritated with my son all the time. You know, we have a dog. He's a year and a half old. Last year, he pooped on the floor all of the time and, you know, I would find that I was getting sucked into that mentality again and that's kind of, I think it was a little bit before that around that time when I decided that I was going to start getting up earlier. I was like, I just don't have enough time of the day and I wasn't going to be that person either because we all have the same 24 hours in a day, but I knew that I had to make a difference, right? I'm not saying that I know all the answers. I'm not saying that my life is, you know, harder than yours or easier than yours or whatever the case is, but I can tell you that I have a lot of things that have happened to me in life, okay? I've overcome a lot of obstacles. I strive for daily growth in all different areas and that's also what I teach and that's also what I pass on to other women. My goal is to empower other women and so it would be so easy, you know, to just, to, 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 to just preach and not practice what I preach, right? That's what happens a lot of times. A lot of times you see people that are life coaches and health coaches and you know do the same things that I do and they're miserable. They're not taking their own advice. Um, a lot of times what was happening in the beginning too is I would, I'm really, really good at teaching people how to do their meal prep and I would only do like a partial meal prep and so then it would be the middle of the week and here I was like, Hello, this is what I teach. Why am I not prepped? Why am I now taking this time in the middle of the week when I could be spending it with my family, when we could be at the park? You know, why am I stressed out when this is what I know works? So anyways, just stop being a victim to your circumstances and start, you know, really truly digging deeper in into yourself. That's the whole thing is moms so oftentimes just kind of think this way that like we don't deserve to have time to ourselves or everybody's so tired, you know, so tired because the kids were crazy and you know it was such a long day and so 
you know, here's what happens is they put the kids in bed and they watch TV for hours and hours and hours and that's fine. That's their everybody's choice. I don't watch TV because that's when I work. Um, I'll tell you what though, I don't I don't miss it. I can turn on some shows and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is what was left off the last time I watched it or whatever. Um, th those are all choices you make, but I'll tell you what. For a couple of months here, I got into a little bit of a rut. And like I said, I normally am up at 5.30 in the morning. Well, I wasn't getting up at 5.30 in the morning. My husband was laid off. This was before he was gonna deploy. He was laid off for four months and it started to cripple me because I spend all of my time in this home and with him also being home, it just started to be very hard, right? It was hard to have everybody in the same space all of the time and and it, it, it just, it threw me off and it gave me maybe a little bit of depression. And so rather than waking up at 5.30, because he wasn't getting up, he wasn't working out at that time. You know, it was six, it was 6.30, it was seven, 7.30. Like it just kept getting later and later and later and later. And then what would happen was I was tired all day long. The more involved you are in your life, the, the busier you are, you actually require less sleep. The more productive you are, now if you're just busy and you're stuck on Facebook and scrolling and, and watching TV and doing those kinds of things, you know, that's a little different. But when you're busy and you're driven and you have goals and you have plans and you're getting shit done, it's a different story. Like my body, I try to now be in bed I'm trying to get in bed by 10. It's just not going to happen because a lot of my conversations are at night. I get very excited talking with my my challengers and the people that are in my groups and stuff like that. And so like 1030, I really have a goal to try to be in bed by 1030. And then I'm up at 530 and I look right now it's noon. I've been up since 530. I've gotten so much done. I had my workout done. I got an hour of work done. I did my meditation. I did some journaling. I was had breakfast done. Uh took a quick shower, got my son dressed, fed, teeth brushed, took him to school, ran three miles with the dog, came back home, showered and washed my hair, um, made some eggs and apple, it's sitting right over here. You know, have talked to a number of my challengers um, because he's at school, talked to my mom, talked to my best friend, um, and now I'll go pick him up. That's incredible. And I am full of energy and I am happy and I'm not like, Oh my gosh, I had to get up at 5.30. No, it's how you set your intention. Even if it's like midnight and you're like, you're only going to get five and a half hours of sleep. If you say, you know what, I am only going to have five hours of sleep, but it's going to be an amazing day tomorrow. I still am going to wake up with that intention. I'm still going to get my meditation done. I'm still going to get my workout in. I'm still going to get everything done before everybody else is awake in the house so I have that time for myself. Your day is gonna be amazing. You're going to wake up with that intention. You set the intention the night before. If you go to bed and you're like, great, now tomorrow's gonna suck. Everything's gonna suck because I'm not gonna get enough sleep, then it's going to suck because you just ruined it for yourself, basically. That's just what happens. You ruined it, you ruin it for yourself. Um, so stop blaming other people, stop blaming traffic, stop blaming your job. If you hate your job, look for another option. Look for different routes. Find different ways to make your life better. We cannot control what other people do. There are always gonna be those people that wanna bring us down, drag us through the dirt. It's always gonna happen. You've got to rise above that. You have to make a difference for yourself. In order to be the best for everybody else, you have to be the best for yourself first. Plain and simple, you have to be the best for yourself first, okay? So, anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this episode. Again, I'm Stephanie View. Thank you for visiting The Point of View, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.